So these are called turnbuckles right here. Turnbuckles form a line for concrete. We just screw them onto the air channel, take them so we can twist, get it in and out to get it blown both ways. And uh, that's what he's doing right now. So it's gotta go your way, Travis. My way. Yep. Yeah. Small. Both the left stop. All stop. Right there. Plum. Go the other corner. Hey, bridge over here. Yep. Perfectly blocked. So I plumb it both ways to get it plumb, and then we'll do a string line from the center peak to center peak, and that's when I can I start moving all the other trusses and do all the braces from from down up to the truss, and that holds them straight white. Do all my hat channel. So we we'll get that here in just a minute. So we get this one here. We get a plumb. You want to find the blocks for that? Oh yeah, we got to do that one, don't we? You just want to use that lift. And now we're gonna put a block up on my feet where I made my lines. We're gonna put we have a, we have a block, and I'll show you so you get the block. We have a block that shows our center line and our two hat channel lines. We have screws in them, so we put one block into there so we can run three lines and we can just. Well, this is what we got here. Basically, that's our center line, center line screw, and then that's our hat channel line, and that's our hat channel line. So we got a little side so We put those in there and clamp it. We run a string line. We can line up all our trusses and get them. We're gonna brace them up. And once that's done, then they can just go from here, string line each side, string line each side, and then you can run your hat channel, just go for it and make sure, but you still gotta make sure it's all five foot on center. Once you do the outside center, it becomes cake. Then you do the outside, and, but right now, this wind's gonna make it a little hard, but we'll get up, we'll do the line. You got a string line? Yep. My string line represents center of truss all the way down. So this brace will move this over, like it's already, it's, it's perfect with the line. So we put two screws here, two screws there, and it, Holds that truss from moving, keeps it keeps it in the center while we're doing hat channel up on top of the roof, and also it helps on the walls. So we just brace every one. I mean, yeah, they'll shake, but it'll always hold it to the line. So it's no different than if you're plumbing line in like a house wall. It's the same deal. You got to plumb your walls to get it where you want it, and you, and it stays till your trusses are up, and sheeted, pull that stuff down. Same thing here. These won't come off until we're completely screwed off all the sheeting, and then it's rigid. We pop them off. So that's why we'll do every truss except for the gables because the the other ones hold that one where it needs to be. So these we'll just move this way and that way just so we can get them along the line. And uh, once you do that, they should be pretty much straight. Uh, it's not hard. It's just a matter of the wind's blowing. So it really. Oh, I didn't think I was going in. I'm short. It's too tall. If you don't brace them straight, how can your hat channel be straight? How can you eat for them inside? I mean, I had somebody that said on, on the website, so well, I don't see the need to be that perfect. Well, my customers expect the best. So if we take the time and we plumb it up, we get it where it needs to be perfect. Yes, our trim would be better. Our, our building would be better. Uh, I have I have had satisfied customers in three years, not one callback. So we take the time to make it right. I mean, that's bottom line.